everyone, welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new. So for today's video I've decided to give you a quick update on how I'm doing in terms of my braces. Some of you guys followed me through my braces journey and I just thought this would be very useful for you guys to kind of see how I'm doing a year later as it has been a year later since I had my braces taken out. My main focus point for this video is around retainers because I feel like that is the most important step in terms of keeping your teeth looking fabulous. So I do have a few bits and bobs down on my bed which has helped me over the past 12 months. I am going to start off with showing you guys my retainers. So I have got this box here which I picked up. I think it was like £2 at my orthodontist and inside I have my retainers. So I do have a fixed retainer um, on my top and lower teeth. I have it across the bottom six and then across the top four and then alongside that I have to retainers which is something that you have to go through when you have your braces um, it's just a major part in terms of keeping your teeth looking as good as they were when you had them when you had your braces out so this is what my retainers look like I shouldn't even be manhandling them but you know for this video we're just going to do it so I haven't really had a big problem with my retainers over the past year to be honest I've been doing quite well with them I do have a few cracks on the back molar of my retainers but I feel like that's kind of natural I do tend to bite down a lot on my retainers especially when I'm sleeping so that's probably the reason why if I don't wear them for like three days I tend to kind of like bite down on them a lot more just to kind of make sure that they're fitted a lot better so that's probably the reason why they are a little bit cracked especially on the back ones but generally they do fit on really really easily I am going to demonstrate this for you so you can see how easy they go on for me so I've got my bottom ones here and basically I just apply them with the back left first place it down and then press all around kind of like that and then I will basically do the same thing with my top ones. So over the past 12 months, I've definitely gotten used to the lisp, as you can probably tell already. The lisp is very prominent still. I feel like I've got a lot of fluid in these retainers, which I probably should have dried out, which can cause a little bit of problems as well. If you are struggling with a lisp, there's probably a high chance that you've got water in your retainers and you haven't kind of rinsed them out properly. As you can see, I'm like sucking the water out, which is gross. Other than the lisp itself, you can't really tell that I have the retainers in unless you're like super close to my face. I do wear them more often during the night. I just find it's just a lot more better. I can keep up with that routine a lot more. And when I'm working and stuff, they just become a bit of a problem. Trying to talk to people with them in, it's just so difficult. And with my job, I'm a supervisor. So struggling to talk just doesn't look professional at all. So I don't tend to wear my retainers when I'm working. I do wish I had more time to wear them during the day though, because I just feel like they would just be a lot more better. And during the night I feel like I'm not really wearing them properly. I don't know why but when I'm talking they just feel like they're more fitted and they're more like sculpted in my teeth if that makes sense but I don't know. don't know what I'm saying. I try my best to keep this video on track but yeah I don't wear them at work. I wear them during the night for about eight hours and yeah I do wish I could wear them more often during the day but it just doesn't seem to work with my routine and with with work life in general yeah they are like really easy to maintain as well I do have these tablets which I use and every week I would soak my retainers in them just put one tablet with some like lukewarm water in a bowl for like 20 minutes and it just cleans them out when I remove my retainers I just basically use my toothbrush to just rinse them out and then I use a little bit of mouthwash just to keep them smelling nice as well because they've been in your mouth all night you know saliva and stuff isn't the best so a little bit of mouthwash on the toothbrush sometimes just helps make them smell a little bit more nicer and fresh especially if I don't plan on wearing them for a couple of days afterwards they would just keep a little bit more nicer in my retainer box so with my retainers I do tend to wear them around three to four times per week at night there have been a few times where I've only worn them once a week and there have been times where I've worn them like every day every night should I say I would say approximately three times a week I wear my retainers at the moment I'm very aware that I have to wear them every week I haven't kind of forgotten about them or anything like that even during the weeks where I don't wear them that often my retainers are super easy to take in and take out as long as I have been wearing them at least one or two times a week they're fine on the weeks where I only wear them that once I do struggle putting them in and they are a little bit tight during the night and I find I have to bite down on them a lot more often just to kind of keep them in place. And like I said at the beginning, that's probably the reasons why my retainers are a little bit cracked, especially at the back. They're not that bad, there's no holes in them or anything, but you can just tell that I've been kind of biting down on them, which I've 
which I'm doing now as you can see. So yeah, overall they're quite easy to remove and put in. Being honest, they're only tight for like 10 or 15 seconds when you first put them in, if you've had a few days off and wear them, but overall they're quite easy to wear other than the fact that during the night they are a little bit uncomfortable and they do kind of keep me awake at night sometimes just because I know that they're there and I'm concentrating a lot on the posture of my jaw like constantly reminding myself to kind of like you know rest my teeth together a certain way because I had rubber bands I kind of remember the fact that I've got to keep my teeth a certain position and I think about that quite a lot when I'm sleeping and that kind of interrupts my sleep so I don't wear them every night because of that so following having my retainers fitted it was six months afterwards that I had my appointment with the orthodontist again just to check up on how they're doing how my teeth are looking and everything was fine my teeth hadn't moved everything was looking good so that was really really positive the world's gone mad we're in a big lockdown and everything's shut so I am waiting to have a little update with my orthodontist just to kind of follow up on how things are going I did have a questionnaire come through through email and it asked me a couple of questions about my braces like do I feel like my teeth have moved are there any breaks in my retainers am I happy with my teeth and everything like that so I filled that in and I guess we're just waiting for a response on like feedback on on that I'm gonna have to take these retainers out because I can't talk at all oh my god let's put them away for a minute literally sound dreadful Oh my god, it's way better. So I guess the main question that you guys are interested in is, am I happy with my teeth a year later? And I'm going to answer this honestly, and I am going to go with the same answer I give you guys when I have my braces taken out, is I am happy with them, they look way better, I feel like my teeth are more prominent, but the one problem, again, I am struggling with is the top two teeth. I just don't feel like they are the best like I just want them straightened out or something because I just don't like the way they look they are very wonky so I don't know if you can see but my teeth are a little bit more prominent on the front too and I feel like they're kind of like pushed out a little bit more what I would like to happen is to have them kind of like grinded down and kind of create a better shape I don't like the way they look in pictures and stuff I do have like I don't know, I just feel like one's more longer than the other and I've said this when I had my braces taken out that that was something I wanted to happen but obviously I'm not able to do that at the moment but that's something consciously that I think about a lot and I am very aware of and I just don't like about my teeth at the moment but overall I'm happy with my bite, I'm happy with the way they look and things like that in general but again it's just the front two that I just don't like um, and it's not because of the braces, just because of the shape of them. Hopefully I can get this worked on over the next year or so, but I'm not in a rush. I'm just very aware that I don't like it and I don't like it in pictures. So yeah, that is the only thing that I'm not happy with, but everything else I'm very, very happy with. My retainers at the back, my fixed ones are doing good. They are a little bit of a pain. I do kind of get food stuck in them quite a lot because they are at the back of my mouth. Like apples get stuck there, seeds, like, you know, the regular pests get stuck in the back of those. And they're doing fine. They haven't moved. They're not really a big problem other than the fact that sometimes food gets stuck, which is just the norm, I guess. I know a lot of you guys probably ask me what products I've been using to keep my oral hygiene up as well. And I guess it's just a case of toothpaste and a toothbrush. I've also got this grounded activated charcoal teeth whitening powder which I picked up on a flight to Corfu or Menorca last year and I use this once per week just to keep my teeth bright and white. I've also got a standard mouthwash again just to rinse my mouth out quite regular. I use this before I put my retainers in and then after just to rinse out any possible bacteria that's came from where my retainers for so long. Another product which I use with my oral hygiene routine is floss. Dentists are absolutely obsessed with floss. I don't know what it is about it. It's just, you know, every time you go to an appointment, they talk about floss. I can see why. They keep your gums really, really healthy. Floss is highly recommended when you have braces. And if not, you can get little brushes which you can put between your braces to keep them clean. I did put that in my night routine video, so go and check that out of like how I used to kind of maintain my braces at that point. So yeah, that is everything that I use. And then obviously I've got my retainer dental tablets as well that I use. So that's my oral hygiene products that I use. I know a lot of you guys are probably wondering if my teeth have moved since I had my braces out a year ago. And I personally think because of the fixed retainer behind my top and lower teeth, 
as alongside the retainers. I don't feel like they've moved that much. Maybe my back molars because they were like the last teeth that were that were moved with the braces. And I also had elastic bands which kind of pulled my jaw together and create more of a tighter kind of smile. Maybe that's changed because I'm not using that like every single night to pull my teeth together so that's possible but it's not a big problem it's not like moved massively but I just feel like because my braces have been taken out that my teeth aren't as tight as they were when I had my braces in which obviously makes sense because I've not got that restriction constantly around my teeth if you do have any questions about my braces my retainers how I'm doing or about my journey with my braces and my teeth in general don't forget to comment those in the comment section below and I will get back to you guys on that what I will do is leave a link to my braces playlist I have got many many videos about my braces journey about foods to eat foods to avoid the questions that I've answered as well I've done like Q&A stuff and I've got many vlogs of my visits to the dentist as well so I will leave a link to that playlist in the description box below and if you enjoyed watching today's video don't forget to smash this a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more from me in the future and I'll see you all again in my next video bye